garden in for a little bit over a year now and I absolutely love it. I have been like really enjoying my time. It's like it's my second growth season and I'm just I'm happy to be here. I love it. It's fun. It's so rewarding. It teaches you a lot and I love it dare I say but right now we're having some issues in the garden with the caterpillars, snails and roly polies. I feel like they are eating more of my plants that I'm getting to harvest and that's a problem so I decided to like try to do something about it because I don't know no other like natural remedies to just like mitigate the problem so I feel like I'm just gonna cover the plants that they've been eating with this um <clears throat> I just ordered this on Amazon and it is a garden mesh netting so I'm just gonna like do a DIY situation I don't even have like anchors or anything I think I'm just gonna use sticks it's gonna, it's gonna be a hot mess but y'all stick around with me we're gonna get into it I'm gonna show y'all what I have grown in the garden and I'm gonna see how we're gonna get these over the plants and I'm gonna show y'all the damage that the bugs have already been doing to my plants I want you to want Anything you see, there's like caterpillars all over, and they're eating my plant. Got this greenhouse um during the winter time when we were about to get that freeze in Texas, and because I wanted to protect the plants that I did have over from like the winter. <clears throat> excuse me and i just i i wanted a greenhouse to keep my plants alive i got one and it actually did keep my plants alive so now i'm just like getting all the plants like from seedlings to just getting them used to you know they're growing and everything now so i am and look at this look you see as i'm talking i'm telling you they are having a field day they are eating all my plants look at them these are mustard greens and look at what the bugs are doing to my greens everything has holes everything is ate up <laughs> i mean it's a good sign look at my poor basil i just got my basil i haven't even had time to like transplant and put it in a bigger pot and the bugs are already on it man my peppers are gaining little peppers, but the bugs, my cabbage, look, there's a bug right here underneath, eating, shitting all over the plant. And it's like, I really appreciate it, guys. You're telling me that, you know, my, my plant is delicious, and I appreciate that, but I too would like to enjoy my plants. And in here, I have the cabbage. I also have this cabbage this cabbage i've harvested from and it's doing it's like second second little round and there's a little snail right here there is like a caterpillar right here eating away as you can see the cabbage is tall up because they just keep eating it um i have some tomatoes that i started from seed over here kale that i started from seed i keep harvesting this kale and it just keeps giving i made kale chips the other night with them i'm just you know using them in my salad doing different things um i have a jalapeno pepper which is just starting to get a little baby we're starting to get some babies on her um some parsley this is a mustard green down here mustard greens as you can see the bugs are having a time with the mustards a time all the mustards got holes on them <laughs> literally I have another pepper back here that's a bell pepper <clears throat> um there's a little guy another one i have eggplant coming up right here some garlic another tomato um green onions mint basil my poor basil i haven't even had time to like transplant my basil and the bugs <sighs> jesus celery over here and i have some jalapeno peppers and look at them baby jalapenos look at the baby jalapenos <laughs> i'm so excited y'all like i'm having so much fun so out here i have a potato plant 
which as you can see the bugs are having their time with the potatoes but i'm not too much worried about the potatoes because all the action needs to be on the ground and they're doing their thing and i have some spinach which i just planted some of them are sprouting and yeah then i have some microgreens growing in here and lastly a bed of lettuce which hasn't we're seeing a little sprouting going on, but not too much action. some dry bushes i'm just gonna take some sticks from the dry bush and make something work i'm gonna make some shape i have these dead trees at my disposal so i'm gonna just you know use them sticks <laughs> gonna spread this thing on the bottom and wrap it around the plants that doesn't even would that even make sense how would that make sense oh my okay guys <laughs> i'm going through it i'm going through a lot so let me show y'all what i have okay so i think i'm just gonna like wrap the net like all the way around and leave an opening at the top so that the bugs can't get underneath or through the sides this has to be the way i'm gonna finesse this and oh god it's blowing away in the wind anyway good <laughs> guys we, we, stay tuned <laughs> This looks like it will work. Whew. Okay. So let's assemble everything back up and see how we like it. 